Hello, lords and ladies, and welcome to Lichitorium. I am your host, Shade Renard. And today is going to be a Harry Potter-themed episode. We are doing Harry Potter's Chocolate Frogs. Along with... Harry Potter's... Jelly Slugs. And Harry Potter's... Brady Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Now, yes, I'm going to be trying every single one of these. But let's start off with the Chocolate Frog, shall we? As this doesn't have a ton of different flavors. That and after reading the packaging, it comes with a witch's or wizard's card in it. Which I'm kind of excited. I can get the packaging open. A small part of me is kind of disappointed because it doesn't come in the... the packaging that, like, is in the movie. It's like that hexagon, it's like purple and gold. I guess my frog's been, sadly, broken in half. There you guys go. But it looks like it's chocolate with, like, crisps in it. Like, little rice crisps. So it's decent milk chocolate, but it's not terrible. But however, it's not great. I'd even say that like a Hershey's, I think they're Mr. Good Bars, would be better than this. So I'm not overly impressed. Which, which is a wizard did I get? I got Ravina Wavering Claw. Hold on, let me take the pack gearing off that. It seems to be kind of blurry for you guys there. There you guys go. It's best I can do. This is actually a holographic card, so... It moves. I still think that, like, if they would have had, like, the... The actual, like, Witches of Wizards cards that were in the movie would be a lot cooler than these, but... It's really cool that, like, they actually kept with that, though, and, like, gave you a little card to go along with it. That they made it like holographic, so that way she moves. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So all in all, like I think I paid like a dollar or something for this at um, Five Below, which is one of those stores that I like going to. It's um, a five dollar store where all the items in that store are five dollars or less. So it's kind of like a dollar store, but it's a little bit more. After all, they have all sorts of different things. So let's move on to the gummy slugs. Actually, you know what? I didn't give a rating for the chocolate frog. So I'm going to have to say that it's like a 5 out of 10. I'm glad that I tried it once, but it wasn't that great. But the fact is that it's a Harry Potter chocolate frog. I think it's kind of cool. It comes with the Witch's Wizards card, so it's actually kind of worth it. I mean, I'd be more interested in actually collecting all the cards than I would be collecting the frogs, in all honesty. I think they even said that in the movie, that Ron... I believe mentions that he doesn't really care about the frogs, that he only cares about the cards that come with the frogs, so. I feel the same way. So, as far as Ron goes, I feel the same with him. Now these gummy slugs have pear, sour cherry, tangerine, watermelon, and banana. Let's hope I have one of each. How they make the packaging out? Christ. Does smell super fruity. These are what the slugs look like. You guys can really see the detail on that. Let me get it closer. Like the back's kind of ridged. It's got like those little bumps for eyes. And this is gonna be sour cherry. Really soft. Kind of bland. Get one of the other ones out. So the sour cherry was kind of a letdown. I didn't really like that one. Didn't really taste like anything. 
Try the tangerine. That one's good. I like the tangerine. I like that a lot. Let's try what? Banana? Was it banana? Yes, it was banana. Let's try banana. Very chewy. But as are with gummies, most gummies are supposed to be gummy. The chewies, so. And now they're all stuck in my teeth. I will comment that the banana flavor tastes like the banana flavored runts, which, in fact, if you guys didn't know, that, like, that artificial banana flavoring that you see in, like, candies and stuff is actually an engineered flavor of a banana that has been extinct for, like, years and years and years. I can't remember what year exactly they went extinct, but they went extinct a long time ago, and that's actually the artificial flavor that you taste. It's a banana that actually no longer exists. Fun fact. So let's try watermelon. Watermelon. I don't really taste anything. There. <clears throat> like there's a hint of watermelon, but it's not really there. I feel like they, they super really dumb down like the sour candies in this one. And before I try pear, I'm gonna take a drink. I bought this coffee today. It's Fulcher's 1815. It's okay. Not that I'm reviewing that or anything. I just thought I'd let you guys know since I'm drinking it. And last one, pear. Tastes like a pear. Oddly pleasant. Considering I don't really like pear. Oh. I take that back. For some reason it tastes oddly bitter. Oh. Okay. So all in all. I guess, for my overall rating for the Jelly Slugs, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. As like, they are decent gummies, and they're soft, they're not super chewy. But, the flavoring, and then on top of that, like, the texture, I guess, was kind of off. Um, the best ones out of these were definitely the Tangerine, and I think I only got one of those in this pack. Yeah, I only got one tangerine in here, which is kind of sad. It's always like the orange that is never in gummy packs. I don't know why. It's like my favorite flavor, but no matter whatever pack of gummies I get, the entire pack, there's always like one. The, um, the tangerine was good. I liked that one a lot. The watermelon was okay, but it didn't really have a lot of flavor, which is kind of sad, because you would think that, like, a watermelon gummy would have more flavor than one of the other ones. Like, I think, like, the sour ones, the watermelon and the cherry, didn't have, excuse me, as potent of a flavor. The banana was good, but it was that artificial banana flavor, the one that I was talking about. And that one, it's like any other banana candy. The one that I thought was unique was the pear, as most things, like, pear just isn't in candies. So I think that's something that this definitely has unique for it, that definitely has going for it. Um, I don't like it, though. <laughs> I wasn't a fan, but I don't normally like pear to begin with, so... Whatever. <laughs> but you guys should give it a try, because if you guys like pear, 
I've never heard of anything else having pear. So, there you go. Pear gummies. Now time for Birdie Bot's every flavor beans. Now, when these originally came out, they had that um, circus tent looking packaging. It was, remember when the uh, the first Harry Potter movie ever came out? That's the type of packaging that they had. And I remember back then, I had a friend of mine, and he had bought some, and he offered me a grape one. Surprise, it was black pepper. I gagged. It was there. It was terrible. It was difficult. I hated it. But let's get into this. Let me read you all the flavors. They have them all along the side of the box here. Grass, green apple, marshmallow, rotten egg, sausage, lemon, soap, tutti frutti, vomit, watermelon, earwax, earthworm, dirt, cinnamon, cherry, candy floss, which is um, cotton candy, Booger, blueberry, black pepper, and banana. So, hopefully we'll go for something that's not going to kill me. I'm going to tell you right now, though, this one. Yeah, let me get that close. This one, right here. That's black pepper. I know that's black pepper, because that's the one that he gave me forever ago. I'm not eating that. Try blue. Looks like that one's either watermelon or blueberry. I think it's gonna be blueberry. Blueberry. Very potent. That's got a lot of flavor. Very chewy. I mean, they are jelly beans, but... I like the blueberry. That was good. Let me clear up space here. Yeah. Try not to get these all over the place and pour some of them out of this box. So we've got a green one. I think this might be grass. Or green apple. It's not booger though. Let's try some grass. <clears throat> That's grass. I will say though, it's not as bad as Jelly Belly's glass. Grass. Because that one's god awful. If you guys have ever tried that, on their bean boozled. Tell you right now, that's disgusting. Because it tastes exactly like fresh cut grass smells. This is gross. Oh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. You know, I don't remember if the original Birdie Bots box actually had a thing that told you all the different flavors. I remember it just having the words on it. And like, these are all the flavors, and they'd list them. But then, they never had, like, pictures of the colors or anything like that. You just had to fucking guess. I remember that. I think that's how it was. That was kind of something I loved about it, because you couldn't just, like, look at the picture and be like, oh, that's what it is, see? You couldn't do that. you just have a list of the different flavors, and you'd be like, well, fuck me if I get it wrong. Alright, so this I think is going to be banana, or marshmallow. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like yellow, it's got like little brown spots on it. I think that one's banana. Mmm. Nope. That's, um... Vomit. <laughs> it 
tasted like vomit. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was fucking rough. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Alright, if you guys didn't know, there are two things I can't stand. Vomit. Cat shit. The smell of those two things will always make you throw up. So tasting vomit. If I wouldn't add that coffee, I would have just all over my keyboard. Right now. That was fucking gross. I seriously hope that Jelly Belly never makes a vomit flavor because that's disgusting. Let's try something else that's not vomit. What are you? Booger? Yeah. That's just gross, though. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but it's gross. It's just nasty flavor. I guess you could, like, accumulate that to, like, mold or something. I don't know. It's just gross. If you ever accidentally bit into, like, a moldy piece of bread, it kind of has the same flavor. These fucking nasty flavors are gross, dude. I'm really put off by that. Can I get, like, a nice, like... You know, I understand Dumbledore now. When he's just like, Ah, oh, alas, earwax. I get you. I fully get you. I'm dropping shit. I think this one's supposed to be green apple. That was good. That was good right there. I like green apple. Alright, so this one's either rotten egg. Or your wax. I'm gonna hold off on that. I I wanna try another like good one first. Uh, I think this one's candy floss. This is either candy floss or tutti frutti. It's like a pink. It's got like little blue spots on it. That's tutti frutti. Fucking good. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. It tastes like bubblegum. That's what I'm talking about. That's fucking good. Mmm. Yes. Yeah, I think this one's a booger. I've already tried that. I remember you. Your vomit. You get the fuck out of here. What is this? I think this is a watermelon? Not sure. I think that's watermelon. It's watermelon. That's really good. Very potent flavors on these. This one's solid white. Let's see the earwax or soap. That's soap. That's fucking gross, dude. That's really fucking gross. See, it doesn't really taste like soap, though. It's just like a really weird, disgusting flavor. I think that's kind of like why I like Jelly Belly's Bean Boozled. It's because it actually tastes like the thing. Like, remember their white one? Their flavor was like... I can't remember what the good flavor was, but it always has like two colors. 
There's a good one and a bad one. And the bad one, I remember being baby wipes. It tastes the way baby wipes smell. It's disgusting. Maybe I'll do those for this channel. But I wanna... If I get those, I'm definitely doing it with somebody else. That way they can be in torment too, not just me. I really don't want to eat that many jelly beans. I mean, this is already kind of a lot. I think this one's either sausage or dirt. I think it's supposed to be sausage. That's dirt. That tastes like fucking dirt. If you ever got a mouthful of dirt, I have. It's got that real earthy taste. It tastes just like that. Exactly like that. Oh, that's gross. That's unpleasant. That just brings back bad memories. Mostly of crashing on my bike. And then face planting first into the dirt. And eating dirt. It's gross. That made me unhappy. What's left? Looks like black pepper. Looks like I didn't get any good... You know what? I don't... There... There's not even a fucking grape on here. That bastard bastard played me. Looking back at it. Son of a bitch. Maybe the original had grape. But if it was... It's the same flavors as the ones before that are in this. That bastard played me. There's not even fucking grape. I would like to try marshmallow, but... I don't think I have one. I saw just solid white ones. Solid white is soap. Where's a bright yellow? Maybe that's lemon. Maybe that's earwax. Or rotten egg. What else? Lemon. Gotcha, Dumbledore. That was pretty nice. I like that. I don't think I did it, but we're going to do this red one, which red is... Either earthworm, cinnamon, or cherry. Let's take a look at these. I think these are all about the same. Yeah, they all got like dark spots on them. I think these are earthworm. Let's find out. I won't even adjust that. Fuck that. I think that was the nastiest one. Oh god, that's fucking gross. I'm almost out of my coffee. Fuck. That was really gross. And of all the nasty ones, that one was the worst. I like the vomit was pretty bad, but that one's nasty. That one's got a taste that just leaves it in your mouth and it's just fucking disgusting. I don't know why I'm torturing myself like this. It's for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Because I'm fucking not. I was like, oh, these crazy candies, Harry Potter. Fucking magic. Brady Bot, you're a fucking bastard. Jelly beans are supposed to be delicious, fun candy, and you're ruining it for me. I don't want to look at fucking any more jelly beans, but alas. The last flavor that I have in this pack that I haven't done out of all the other ones is this. The one I've been talking about since I started doing this. Black pepper. It's for you guys. It's for 
for you. I don't want to fucking do this. Yep. So I could just put a ground a freaking spoonful of black pepper in my mouth. It's fucking disgusting. On top of that, too, it's actually kind of spicy, just like pepper. It's not just flavored. It actually has some, like, black pepper, like, spice to it. Yeah, that was gross. And I'm out of, out of my coffee now. So, honestly, I would rate the Birdie Bots every flavor of beans. I had probably about, like, six and a half. Honestly, I think it needs more, like, good flavors. Because I think the only good ones were, like, green apple, lemon, tutti fruity, watermelon. Uh... Cherry, which I didn't get, candy floss, which I didn't get, and blueberry. And banana. I don't know, maybe if there was like at least one of every flavor in a box or something, instead of just being mix match of whatever. I don't know. Oh, by the way, guys, I also got a new um, notebook. Create your own magic. To go along with the whole Harry Potter thing. So. <sighs> if you guys didn't catch, I am wearing a Marauder's Map hat. It says I'm solemnly, solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. And if you guys haven't heard about it, the new uh, Fantastic Beast movie is going to be coming out shortly. Uh, Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald. If you guys didn't see the first one, I definitely suggest you should, because Johnny Depp's character is coming back for the new one, and I'm excited. And if you guys didn't know he's in the first one, then you haven't watched it yet. I suggest go and watch it, that way you can see Johnny Depp in that. That way you can be as excited for the new one as I am. Because honestly, it looks good as shit. And I can't wait to see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, I am a house Hufflepuff. And I'm also a horned serpent. For, um, Ilvermoney School. Which is the one in the United States. So... Thank you guys for watching, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell icon for getting future uploads from me, so that way you guys are notified, and we'll see you at the journey's end. Ta-ta.